Today we're racing some F1 23 cars, but every lap of this race, the track conditions are gonna get foggier. And by the end of it, visibility is going to be absolute zero. Zilch, we won't be able to see anything, I'm telling you. So let's enjoy this whilst we can as we go to lights out and away we go for a very weird 10 lap race around Silverstone Shore. Bunch of F1 23 cars, but let's take in the gift of sight. As we can see every car, we can see what's coming up in the distance. Because very quickly, this circuit's becoming doom and gloom from that sunny beginning. And the fog will descend. It's been a bit of a slow start for us. We're still last place in 19th. Oh, there's a big crash. Oh, our teammate in the other McLaren is off. And that's before any of the fogs even descended. I say that as if like the AI will be affected by the fog. I don't think they will. So it's really just a challenge for me. Um, they're just going to continue on like nothing's happening, I assume. But you can keep track of where we are with the fog descending on the bottom left. That's the Soul Planner app on a set of course. So that's how we're making this possible. So right now we're entering stage one of the fog, basically, as we send the Aston wide. Can we get down the inside? Ooh, it's actually some decent wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing with the Aston up to P14, more places to gain. But as we go on through into Village, you can see that mist around us. The Alpines lost it with the Haas. Can we go and make the move with the Alfa Romeo and keep out of trouble from these two? I'm going to take it easy through this right-hander, set ourselves up for an overtake on the straight. But look at the bridge, past the bridge. You can't see anything until you actually get to it. And that's just now. This is stage two fog we're entering. I don't even know what I, the, the end of this is going to be abysmal. It's going to be just a wall of white and I won't be able to see anything apart from my car, I assume. Through the last bend there's another car that lost it. Maybe the AI do get affected by the fog. I don't know because a few of them are actually going wide and losing the back end and whatnot as we get up into P10 for the first time into the points. Can we stay in the points? As we go on through this race, as we're on lap three on the outside of the Haas. Where is he? I don't know. I'm going to give him some room, but I think we've got him up into P9. Ocon's out. Don't know whether that's fog related or just AI related, but we'll carry on. And look at that as we enter this back. This back part's where we're really getting a good uh, contrast and uh, comparison lap to lap of how bad it is. Actually, this is pretty shocking as well now. My God, if this was real life, I don't know, would they would they red flag a session at this point of this level of fog? I feel like this would be okay. I think this would still be pretty raceable and like okay, but I think the next stage of fog is going to be pretty bad. Right now we're in stage three. We're going to get to stage four very soon as we make a lovely little move on the Alfa Romeo to get up into P7. Where is he? I'm going to Assume he's not there, and we've got him. We've just got to the apex first. Right, lucky number P7. Let's hope it stays lucky for me as we go. <laughs> okay, the fog's now caught up for before the bridge. So now I can't even... It's gonna By the next lap, I won't be able to see the bridge, I reckon. I think that's going to be very difficult. But right now, it's actually still drivable. I can still see the curbs. I can see what's coming towards me. I can even see the cars ahead of me, so... It's looking good, but our progress up this 19-car grid is slowing. Let's try and up the pace a little bit and get this Mercedes onto the new lap on the inside of Hamilton. I think that is Hamilton's AI through turn one up to P6. Halfway through, kind of, you know, lap five, it's got to complete. And then we'll be properly halfway through this race, catching the next Mercedes. And the fog is getting worse. Let's look at where that br uh, that bridge is. I can't see it. I can't see the bridge until then. Oh, dear. Oh, dearie me. DRS still available, though, by the way. FIA deem this, uh, uh, you know, not a risk to have the DRS open flying towards a wall of, of mist. And I think at this point, I feel like they may red flag an F1 session if it ever got this foggy as we go on the inside of the Merc. He's still there, though. Oh, he gives me a good fight, you know. Gives me a good old fight. I think that is Russell's AI. We're into the top five now as we cross over to the halfway point. And it is now getting a little bit sketchy as we go around the outside of the Ferrari. Not going to dive bomb the second one there, though. Just going to accept the P4 for now. But, oh, dearie me. Okay, let's see the next chair. <laughs> 
It's just a wall. It's like a fog of war, like in some, uh, on the old R&D tree on the F1 game, like a fog of war. And literally the war is us entering battle with these AI who are very much not even affected. I, I'm pretty sure these guys aren't slowing down because of this fog. I am. That's because I can't see much and I don't want to push my limits. We've stayed P4 this entire lap. I reckon we could get up to P3 as we go on into turn one. Yeah, we're going to get the Ferrari. But we're now into, what's this? We're into the last three stages of fog level as we look to make a move on. I assume it's Alonso's AI. Oh, he's going to brake check us. So we're going and battling Alonso. Even with this level of fog, he's going to carry on defending. I don't even know where that Red Bull is up the road. I won't see him for, well, I think the rest of the race. This is the open DRS. The bridge comes at us. We're gaining. We're gaining. We're going into absolute... Just, it's not darkness, just a, a wall of white. And now it's getting difficult. I'm using Alonso as a yardstick of where on earth this track is going. If he wasn't here, I would be flying blind. I'd be driving blind completely. As we go on to a new lap, we're going to have to overtake him. And then we're on our own. Because I don't know where this Red Bull is. Where is the corner? No! Where is it? Damn it! Oh, we've lost the position. And now even Alonso is invisible. Oh no, my yardstick for where we were going, he's there, he's very, oh no, <laughs> what is going on, where's the court, I made it, I've ma oh, oh, okay, there's the curb, there's the side of the circuit, let's go here, let's just keep to this side of the circuit, I don't know where that Ferrari's gone, wait for the curb, where's the curb, oh I'm being overtaken now, I'm being overtaken, the AI, they're coming to their own, they're not affected by this fog, I am, where are we even going, cars are coming at me left and right, where is the next break point, is it here, I don't know, left, oh there's the curb, <laughs> oh no, the Alpha's got me as well, oh the AI having me off, we're down to P8, we've got two laps left, two laps of this, it's not happening. It's not happening. Where's turn one? Turn now. No, missed it. We're off on... Oh, God. I think we're on the grass. Where are we? Where are we? I'm looking at the mini-map to help us now. And even that's not helpful. Right. This is village. Turn in now. Oh, okay. That's the inside apex for village. It's still getting foggier. How is this not 100% fog? This, there's still fog to come. Um, where, uh, yeah, yeah, I think we're, okay, we're on the straight, okay, we're still going, I'm determined to finish this race, we've got one lap left of this fog, oh, no, Ooh, okay, I've actually, I've actually done that corner very well there, oh, there's the, okay, stay with me, no, I need a car to show me the way, I can see them just ahead of, oh, my, <laughs> I'm so sorry, to the Alpha Tower, he came out of nowhere. I can't see a bloody thing. I can just see merely a front, a front wings width ahead of me, and that's about it. We're on the last lap, though. This is it. We're getting to where we are in the last stage of fog. This is pretty much 100% fog, I think, and this is pretty terrible. Oh! No, 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 keep, no, I've spun, I've spun. And this is it, oh god, no, we've got to 100%, this is 100%, it was, that wasn't even 100 before, this is now 100. I can't see where, oh, what are these little markings, are they, is that going to guide me? I think we're going, yeah, okay, I'm using the minimap now to drive, because nothing else is helping me, let's be real, about where I am on the circuit. I think we went past the bridge there, we're now getting to the next corner, I'm going to break now. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. I've spun. What did I even spin on? I can't even tell what we're spinning on. Where are we? I think we're on the grass. Now we're on tarmac. It feels smooth. No, we're on the runoff now. Okay. Okay. That's the curb. I felt it on my wheel. I think we're on. Oh. Oh, no. I think I hit the pit wall there. Um. Oh, let's follow this little line. No, that's the grass, but it'll have to do. We're crawling at first gear, trying to make our way around. I don't know where we are. I'm scared. We may as well be in some alien planet at this point. I think this is through the last corner. I think I may have just gone over the last corner curb. And now accelerates to the line to finish the race. We finished it. We finished the race. <laughs> we finished the race. 
Oh my god. I'm so glad we actually made it to the end there, but bloody hell, it got so difficult so quickly. I was mad. If you guys have enjoyed this one, then be sure to hit that like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and let me know what next scenario you might want to see in this sort of format of video. If you're new around here, do get subscribed for weekly Formula 1 content and I'll catch you guys around. Goodbye.